I promise you we will play West Ham someday. The game has been uh, rearranged once again due to international call-ups. So the West Ham game isn't for another 10 games or so. So we're going to come back today. We're going to face Swansea away from home and Leeds United at home. Two big games for us. We currently sit on the top of the championship table and we need to keep ourselves there. So since the last episode, I think we've played about four games. The first of which was a 1-0 home win against Stoke City. Sebastiano Esposito keeping his goal uh, scoring form up. Getting this goal in the 64th minute in what was a pretty dull game. But we got the win. It's all that matters. We then went uh, to Lincoln. They were at, we were at home. And we won 2-0. This was in the League Cup third round. Corley Woodrow getting the start today. Getting himself a couple of goals in the 37th minute and the 53rd. We did rest a good number of players in this game because the fixture congestion has just been absolutely massive and <laughs> injuries are piling up, basically. Then a disappointing nil-nil draw against Hull City. Our clinical early season form has definitely dumbed down a little bit and we are not really creating as many opportunities as we were in the first seven games or so. But still, it's a point. We're still unbeaten. We'll carry on. And finally, was a 2-1 away win against Luton in the league. Barnsley getting two goals from Sebastiano Esposito in the first minute on the 49th. Elliot Lee made it interesting in the 77th minute getting a goal back for Luton. But we held on and got the three points. And this is how the championship table looks after those set of fixtures. We currently sit top of the lot. Two points clear from West Brom in third. One point clear from West Ham in second. They have been beaten already now. They got beat against Cardiff away from home. Uh, as you can see though, we remain unbeaten and I would like to keep it that way, please. So first up is an away tie against Swansea City, currently sitting 19th, struggling quite a lot. We then have Leeds, who, where are they? They're sitting in 13th. They were uh, competing at the top end of the table last season, so they have had a difficult start of things, but they've still got an excellent squad, so it could go either way. We'll get to the Swansea game and I'll say yeah, kick off. So I think it's fair to say our team really is running out of gas at the minute. We've had to make a number of changes just purely down to the match conditioning of our boys. So this is going to be the lineup for today's game. Jamal Blackman will start in goal. Jordan Williams at right back as Dimitri Kavaria, as you can see here, on 83%. He will go on the bench, but he's not fit to start the day. Batella, Tisserand and Herrero completing the defence. And they are not even really at the perfect condition for today. Bissoli and Jake Foster Kasky. I didn't think he was going to get any games, but he's started a few games now in the centre of midfield ever since Alex Moat's injury. Uh, Wilkes on the right hand side. Bruno Costa comes in for Gonzalo Ramos, who's struggling. Esposito goes out to that left hand side to let Corley Woodrow start up top. Ah, <sighs> it's a very much a weakened side from us against a decent Swansea side. They've still got some very, very good players. The likes of Ben Woodburn, Jake Bidwell, um, Rossiter in the centre of midfield. Juan Hernandez is starting up top. That is not ideal whatsoever. But um, you're going to have to make do and hope that we're going to get a point today. I think that's the target. First highlight of the game. It's a corner for us. It falls to Corley Woodrow at the back post. Absolutely diabolical defending from the Swansea City players there. And we find ourselves 1-0 up, only three minutes in. It's Bruno Costa who plays in the corner. Wilkes, well, slide challenges for that eventually. I thought he was going to win the header. But he doesn't get accredited with the assist, which is a little bit surprising. But I don't really care, to be honest with you. Collie Woodrow with his first goal. Is that his first goal in the league? It might very well be. Um, but he puts us 1-0 up inside three minutes. Another highlight now is with Swansea City in possession. We managed to pinch it thanks to Tisserand's header and Herrera with the ball over the top for Corley Woodrow. You know, he could be staking a claim for a starting spot here if he keeps things going the way they are. Ten minutes in, Bruno Costa with a corner. Tisserand's there. It goes over the bar. Already 1-0 up. We're going to go to a more balanced team mentality. Swansea are keeping the majority of the possession, so we want to be able to sit a little bit deeper. Um, keep our boys from over committing on the attack and hopefully prevent um, injuries. <laughs> Bruno Costa is coming for Gonzalo Ramos today. He's going to have to get himself off. He is injured. Tony Herrero as well has picked up a knock, but he is slowly but surely recovering um, his match condition. So we'll keep things the way they are there. Esposito going close from a free kick. Injuries are really starting to bug me. It's causing me massive concern for the our squad. It's not that strong in terms of depth. And we're already missing a number of very, very key players for a very long time. Three minutes to go in the first half. There is another highlight. We are in possession in midfield. And we play it nicely to Foster Kasky in the centre. Lovely little through ball for Corley Woodrow. What a save that was by the keeper. 
And Wilkes gets the rebound, but it's offside. We don't go 2 0 up. Absolutely incredible. And there we are Swansea City nil, Barnsley 1. That's the end of the first half. Let's kick off for the second. No need to make any changes just yet. We'll keep an eye on Tony Herrero in particular to see if he um, suffers another knock. I think even even if it doesn't result in an injury, we should get him off anyway, just to be really, really safe. As we get our first highlight of the second half, Wilkes pilches the ball in the final third. He drives into the box. He's taken down by the defender. And I don't know why he's done that. I don't think Wilkes was going to score from that position. But Corley Woodrow is the man who steps up to take it. And he, uh, he's, uh, if we don't win this game, I'm going to be absolutely fuming. Foster Kasky with the corner. It's played in Tisserands there. Good save by the keeper. The second half has started electrically. 50 minutes in. We are in the ball in the final third once again. Swansea have got an awful lot of men back. John Williams, or Jordan Williams even, gets the ball at the back post. Esposito's there. Heads it into the side netting. 52 minutes in now. Another highlight. This is absolutely unbelievable. It's Swansea coming forward this time with Danda in the centre of midfield. Finds Watkins on the right-hand side. He's got plenty of time and he's got options behind him. But Tony Herrero defends it well. And Foster Chasky just boots it out the way. And Corley Woodrow brings it down. Great. He's all on his own. He's going to have to do something special. It somehow falls its way to him again. And the keeper is his nemesis today. Is anybody keeping a tally of the number of highlights in the second half? It's only 57 minutes in. We have ourselves another highlight. We are pressing Swansea defence pretty well. Wilkes almost pinches it. And we nearly capitalise on the mistake. But we do regain possession with Williams on this right hand side. He's being jockeyed by his man, but he goes back to Bissoli, who gets dispossessed by Danda. And now maybe Swansea City can drive forward. Great challenge by Batella to stop that attack in its tracks. The highlight continues with Williams again on this right-hand side. Is he going to whip the ball in this time? He is. Esposito's there, and he heads narrowly over the bar. 62 minutes in now. Swansea with a highlight, getting the free kick in. We managed to get rid of it, and Tony Herrero can bring the ball forward down this left-hand side. He's only really got Corley Woodrow for support, although Gonzalo Ramos is arriving in the box. The ball's played into Wilkes. Oh, please score another goal. Going to go on the match stats right now. Our half chances, we haven't had any, but we've had four clear-cut chances. We should be out of sight in this game, at least 2-0. We're going to have to look to make some changes to keep our boys fresh. Malik Wilkes can come off. We're going to bring on... who? Are, we're going to bring on Reese Nelson on that right-hand side, see what he can do. And we're going to bring on Beachow on the left-hand side for Sebastiano Esposito, who hasn't had a great game on the left, but that's not his natural position anyway, so I don't really care. Swansea have just gone very attacking for the final few minutes. We will counter that by going cautious, and there is a highlight, Corley Woodrow. He's, he's made it extra hard for himself, and that was a penalty. Oh my God, that was not a penalty. Corley Woodrow, you got your second bite at the cherry. Is he going to take it? He does this time. He goes to the exact same corner, but he hits it with some power. And that's Collie Woodrow's fourth goal of the season. And that wraps up the three points today against Swansea. And there we have it. Swansea City nil, Barnsley 2. A good performance from our boys. A little bit wasteful in the attack. But we haven't got our full strength starting 11. So that's not to be uh, anything to be ashamed of, basically. And that sees us still remain top of the table. Still only one point clear from uh, West Ham and two points clear from West Brom. But we keep up the pressure on the others to keep an eye on us. So... Leeds United are next, currently sitting in 14th, just being beaten by West Ham and Nemanja Matic. And we're back for the Leeds game. Unfortunately, our players are still absolutely knackered because it has been a bit of an international break. And some of them have been involved in some stuff. Jamal Blackman, our goalkeeper, is now out for three weeks, which is absolutely great. So we're bringing in Brad Collins. Positive vibes, everybody. Positive vibes. <laughs> Williams at right back. Batella and Halmir have to start at centre back because Tisserand is not man, not fit. Hey, he's been in the Nationals. Tony Herro, uh, Herrero at left back. Bissoli in the defensive midfield. Alex Moat does return at the starting lineup. He does require a fitness test, but he can last for 75 minutes or so in this game. So we are pushing him straight back in. Malik Wilkes on the right hand side. Bicho comes in for a knackered Gonzalo Ramos who's been involved in national duty. Reese Nelson and Sebastiano Esposito complete the starting 11. So let's see how we go today. Leeds have obviously got a pretty decent squad themselves. Like of Shackleton, Patrick Bamford, Helder Costa. Alioski's decent. Dallas, Casilla. They were one of the best teams in the league last season. So even though they haven't started this season particularly well, uh, we can't rest on our laurels and we have to be at our best, even at home. So let's kick off and see how we get on. First highlight of the game is a corner for Leeds and they go 1-0 up. <laughs> hey, Liam Cooper 
with his first goal of the season. Helder Costa with the assist from the corner. Not ideal way to start the game. We're going, not going to watch that again. Uh, but there is a highlight straight after kickoff. Reese Nelson picks up the ball on the left-hand side from Brad Collins and he gets past his man. Can he do anything else? Finds Moat, who finds Beach or Wilkes. Playing it about nicely. A lot of space for Williams on this right-hand side. Nespacito was there. <laughs> Kiko Garcia with a hell of a save. Another highlight now. It's Leeds in possession in their own th uh, third. But they work it out nicely to Helder Costa on this left-hand side. Thankfully, Bissoli is there to kill that attack. The ball's played long and over the top for Esposito, who's in behind. And Kiko Casilla, Casilla again with another good save. I'm not panicking. I'm not panicking. But I've got a sneaking suspicion this could be our first defeat of the season. We're only half an hour in, but the way we are playing right now isn't particularly filling me with confidence. And Casilla is having a good game in goal for Leeds. Mowat with the corner. It's played in. Wilkes is there. What? Why am I panicking? There's no need to panic. Everything's going to be fine. You've got Malik Wilkes. Why am I panicking? Great little assist by Moat from the corner. We have missed him in the centre of midfield. And Wilkes there getting the header at the front post, putting us 1-1 before half-time, which is ideal. Another corner though. Moat again. Halmi is there from post this time. Not to be. And that's going to be it for the first half. Not a, not too bad of a performance. Um, we have had a good number of opportunities, but the keeper has done well for Leeds. So we'll kick off for the second half. Hope for more of the same. Less of the uh, conceding from set pieces though. And let's hope Esposito can rapidly improve his average rating for today. First highlight of the second half comes 53 minutes in. Leeds give us a possession quite sloppily. And we build from the back. Reese Nelson receives the ball. He's cut inside. He's gone back outside. What's he going to do with it? He finds Moat. Who, please say that's onside. It is onside. Malik Wilkes gets his fourth goal of the season. It was Alex Moat with a sensational strike. Which just narrowly hits the post. But uh, we are on, on hand to capitalise from it anyway. Reese Nelson doing well here. Driving down the left-hand side. Moat first time. And it hits back off the post to Wilkes. Who can slot home quite comfortably. We're going to go off attack. And we're going to go to balance. And just hope our boys can see out the rest of this game. We're playing some decent stuff in the centre. Keeping possession. And it goes out to Tony Herrero on this left-hand side. Moat to Bissoli. If uh, Herrero's got space again on this left-hand side. He whips the ball in. Esposito's there. And Esposito gets his goal today. His 12th goal of the season. By far and away our top goal scorer. Doing fantastic stuff up front for us. And despite missing a good couple of chances in the first half. I'll take one goal a game, I guess. Tony Herrero doing good work down the left-hand side. Excellent cross in. And Esposito nods at home. And we are now going to take off Moat. That's why we've been missing him. He has been the driving force in the centre of midfield. We'll bring on Forster Kasky in his position. We'll also bring on Dimitri Cavaria for Jordan Williams at the right-back spot. Another highlight. Basoli finds Nelson. Plays it up top to Esposito. Herrero again giving ourselves the option on the left wing. He plays it in. It comes to Esposito. Hits the top of the bar. Helder Costa with a free kick. We know they are quite good from set pieces. And Matthews Klitsch gets the goal for Leeds. And 3-2. Why? I mean, why? Stop giving set pieces to Leeds. Oh, not a highlight. It'll be acceptable if it's a goal for us. But Leeds are really pressing us now. We haven't got the time on the ball we had half an hour ago. So our boys need to really be careful right now. The highlight continues though with the Esposito getting dispossessed. But he keeps possession. Uh, Bilcho finds Herrero on this left hand side tries to whip it in he can't Jimmy Shackleton's in the way can we keep the pressure on Cavaria ball down the line Esposito on the right hand side and that is a finish and a half his second goal of the game his 13th goal of the season he puts Barnsley 4-2 up and this was a great bit of play by Dimitri Cavari here we see he receives the ball from Bissoli and a first time pass down the line Esposito with a first time finish on the half volley at the back post. Keeper can do absolutely nothing about that. And that's surely now the three points coming to us. Bicho with the corner. It's played in. Foster Kasky gets there. Only to go over the bar. We'll look to make our final substitute of the game. Tony Herrero's had a great game on that left hand side. Despite the rating. And Ben Williams can come on for him. And that is going to be that for the game. So Barnsley 4 leads to not our greatest defensive performance. I think we do suffer when Tisserand isn't in the starting eleven, But a great attacking performance from us. Esposito and Wilkes. Getting the two goals each, uh, giving us the good, comfortable victory, which sees us retain our position top of the league. And we are now three points clear from West Ham in second, four points clear from West Brom in third. We're starting to create a little bit of a gap. Right, next episode. I want to play West Ham. Hopefully it doesn't get rearranged again. I don't think there's any international fixtures 
uh, to be arranged then. There might be. I don't really know. But uh, hopefully it's not and we might get to see this West Ham team in all of its glory in the championship. But anyway, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.